All right, so it's day 137. It is sunny. Um, according to the thermometer, it's in the sun. It is about 90 degrees. Of course it's not, but it's in the sun. Um, woke up about 9, 8.30, 9, something like that. And a cat has something in its mouth. Uh, coming this way. Um, but I woke up on my own then. Um, we didn't go to bed till like 1.30, I think. It's like the latest I've stayed up in ever. Uh, but I'm not sure what to get into today. Um, I think we might go to the Whataburger truck. Um, of course, it's in Locust, which is that city I've got to drive through five days a week every single day. So I don't really want to drive there. So Cram might drive. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I'm not sure what we're going to do. Let me see what he's got. What you got, Tab Johnson? Got something dangling out your mouth. Yeah. Please well, kill it. Right, jerk. <laughs> Cat. Uh, that's what they do, I guess. Here comes Mama Bean. See what's going on, because I think she somehow knew. So yeah, so I'm not sure what we're gonna into. We'll see. Okay, so after getting some food and watching some uh, some Disney things, I'm gonna kind of take a look at this and see how much of a pain in the butt it is going to be to uh, the wasp nest up there to maybe change the radiator. So we'll see. Uh, it looks more right, closer to what I got. So it looks a little wide though, so let's check that out. Nope, it actually looks like a pretty good fit. So, I think what I need to do is drain the water out of this one, start disconnecting hoses, and I might can take the fan off, the shroud I mean, and then put it because do I need to put the, let me try and get where you can see it, because I've got the fan blade. I think I can take this shroud off here and just like, you know, slide it over to there and then drop the radio in place. So, yeah, let's, let's give it a shot. Why not? What's the worst could happen? All right, so I got it started. Took a little drain plug out. Of course, it shot way back there, because I guess, oh, it's got a lot of force. I'm just gonna let this drip for a minute. Gotta be real careful, because this is antifreeze. Well, it's, it's mostly water, but there is some antifreeze in it. I'm sure so and I've got animals and there's animals out here so I really try to be careful because I do not want it to get on the ground because I don't know if it's enough antifreeze to actually hurt an, an animal but we're not going to take a chance. Okay so I'm going to go to the parts house and get a couple things. Uh, I've got an external transmission cooler thing kind of it's like a it's like a zip tie but it's not really a zip tie it's I mean it's designed for external uh you know coolers so in order to get the external cooler off the old one i have to cut the make the little zip tie things so i've got to go to the store and buy a new one so i can zip tie it to the new radiator shouldn't be an issue i hope because most stores are notorious for well we can order it so maybe they won't have to order it. We'll find out. Let's see what they look like. Yay. Okay, so update. Got the old radiator out. As you maybe can see here. Um, but, we'll have to take this fan off to get the radiator in because it's so close. Also, while I was trying to not disturb a frog, that was on my thing. Let's see if I can get a shot of him. Just trying to be careful. And my wrench fell off my thing and went Pacquiao right there on my paint. So now I've got a nice chip. <laughs> you just can't have nothing nice. Oh well. So now I gotta take that off and that's gonna be kind of fun. So we'll see. 
I'm telling you, this car is like, put a for sale sign on me. He does not want me to be its owner. So, after, I don't know, two weeks or so of dealing with this whole radiator thing, because, you know, it says exact fit, and of course it's not. And so I call him back up. I said, listen, this thing don't fit. It says exact fit. And they're like, oh, well, we got the one you need. So I got out of the box, and they're so worried about how wide the core is, you know, which I get it. That's important. So they, they're worried about the core, and uh, so anyway, so I check it, and it's the same, but here's what's not the same. These little doodads, you know, the thing where you mount the radiator to the car. So, I'm like, it's just too narrow. It won't match up. I don't know. Not by much. And there's enough material there that I might can pull the radiator out, get a drill, and just kind of waller out the hole a little bit, and I could probably make it fit. Which, you know, because you just bought a brand new radiator, that's exactly what you should do. But, okay, so let's say, whatever, you do that. Well, now, because the, way the radiator, the way it's sitting in the core, I'm going to flip it. And, and I will, uh, you know, I know it's bigger, but, I mean, they got room in the front to do it, to move it, you know, forward. But now they don't. So, as you can see by right there, my clutch fan is not going to fit. So, what does that mean, Chad? Well, that means that... Uh, now I have to get electric fans, which I don't know. I'm not a huge fan on, uh, <laughs> I'm not a huge supporter of electric fans. Um, I don't know. They just don't hit on much. I don't think, I don't know. It's just people do it because they're running these crazy like setups and you know, it just, they, they don't have the space. Well, I'm running stock everything for at least for the most part. I'm not running any crazy serpentine pulleys or nothing like that. So it should be fine. But now I've got to get electric fans and then I've got to wire it to something inside and it's yet more spaghetti wires. It's got to be run to the back. Plus, again, they're not super efficient. It's like, oh, well, you can cut them on, you know, when you're parked and you pull. It doesn't. I mean, it's not better. A shroud and an old fan works better on these cars. I don't know why. At least the cars I've had. Because I think Dad's Chevelle had like some three inch like aluminum radiator. He had a very mild big block. I mean, it wasn't even, it was pain, It was painful how mild it was. Because he's going to run air conditioning on it at some point. Which he never did. Um, and he has electric fans on his. Guess what overheats all the dang time? That thing. He's got the two mounted fans, you know, same size as it's junk, and it's just, I don't know, it's just stupid. So now, I gotta do that. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I almost, I, I may just shut this hood and, oh man, it's just, it, it should be simple. Take one out, put one in. If it's the right size, we're good to go. And of course, you know, nothing can be the right size. I don't know, it's just junk. So, I don't know what to do. I'm going to have to think about it. All right, so I'm going to walk, walk on the dog now. Um, I think, uh, I don't know, I'll put a call into Chad. I think he's doing something this weekend, see what, if he has a suggestion for this dilemma. Um, I guess what I'm going to do is pull out the new radiator and line it up with the old radiator and check the holes and see how much they're off and how much I can fabricate it to make it fit. Um, and then just maybe bolt it back up without the fan for now and uh, without the fan and without the shroud. And then kind of see, you know, I don't know. That's, I don't know what else to do. All right, so I notched it. We'll see if that works. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. I don't know, we'll see. Update time. I had to 
cut that piece right there. So I can run my transmission line hoses through there. Um, still don't have really enough space for the fan, so probably still gonna have to do that. And I notched that. Now I'm trying to get, there's the notch. Um, now I'm trying to figure out how to do the transmission cooler. So I'm gonna do about the fan. Cause I do not think it's gonna fit. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's gonna fit. All right, I might give one. I might give one more update before I'm done. Done. Um, got everything else kind of bolted in. Got the hoses back on. Got the alternator back tight. Well, the belt tight. And I got to put the uh, transmission cooler, which you may or may not can see. It's in there. I mount that to the radiator. Um, the hoses are a little long, so I've got to figure out how to somehow reach it and without having to take everything back out. So I might do that and then call it. This is not what I wanted to do all day. I was not prepared. <laughs> I thought, you know, I'm gonna <coughs> I'm gonna change the radiator, and that's gonna be you know a quickie quick thing. It's not too involved. On these cars but it is when stuff don't fit and that's kind of the story of this this here car so I guess I'm gonna have to get electric fans I don't see any way around it um, got to do a little quick Google search on uh, jigs and looking probably about a hundred bucks so just like oh, what's another hundred bucks and I've got to figure out a way to mount it to that. So that should be interesting. But anyway, the hood shuts, which is good. Because I was like, oh, I didn't even check that. Um, and yeah, so that's where we're at. Okay, final update on the car for now. Radiator's in. The uh, transmission cooler is zip tied or tied to the radiators. You can see by the little black pegs, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, don't know what to do about the fan. And yeah, so that's where we are. Did not want to spend all day on this. That's a shame. But, oh well, it's what you do. So that. You can see it? Yeah. <gasps> Yay! It's oh, a space that's station. So awesome. I'm not moving. It's moving. I'll move back now. I'm being still. It's moving. It is hauling boogie. Our joker's going fast. Oh, it's about to go through the big dipper. Well. I'll put sideways here. Right, so I'm still now, and you can see it moving across. It's got its high beams on. Cool. All right, so true Saturday night fashion, we are watching some live streams. Uh, we watched Stand Alone, which I put that on there for you. We also saw the International Space Station, which you see that now you've seen it. And now we're watching some IO and get ready to watch some Psalm Shapes. And then some Maleficent. Maleficent's not a band, it's a movie, but you know, you know how that is. I think this is probably one of my favorite songs. Yeah. Not him. Yeah. 
Get the kid do. The kid did good with this one. Oh, is that what that meant? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I like the cigarette song. <laughs> he says something about a cigarette or something. appreciated him singing about a cigarette right right here yeah. I don't know the words to my own songs <laughs> I like this last cigarette in my lips but I always like it because he, he ends with this song actually he ends with the, the hook song but it's like one of the last songs so it lets me know okay well it's time I can go outside and smoke well, it's like when you watch movies and people are smoking. And it makes you want to smoke. Kind of thing. Oh, it does. It's like Constance. Yes. Thank you. Alright, it's 103. Grin's in bed. Finish that video. I'm going to bed. 137.